find the limit of x squared minus 4 as x approaches negative 1. Okay, so first is we will find the left hand limit or the left limit. Let's do that. So we will find the left limit by making a table of values and then investigating where the values will approach. So let's see. So we have x here. And then here, this will be our x squared minus 4. And then I'm going to list down some values for x and just making sure that the values are from the left of negative 1. That means the values are less than negative 1 and they approach negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to start off with negative 1.5. And then negative 1.2, negative 1.01, and negative 1.00001. So these are numbers from the left of negative 1, and they are approaching negative 1. Okay? Then uh, we will evaluate the function right here. We will evaluate that with these values one by one okay so for negative 1.5 we will get negative 1.75 okay so basically just plugging in this value here and then uh, and then after that we're gonna solve the entire thing and the answer for that for negative 1.5 the answer is negative 1.75 okay then next uh, that's negative 2.56 um, next is negative 2.9799 and lastly we have negative 2.9 9998 okay so based on the table we can actually see that as x approaches negative 1 from the left the values of or the value of x squared minus 4 approaches negative 3 okay so therefore we can say that the limit of x squared minus 4 as x approaches negative 1 from the left is equal to negative 3 okay so that's what we got there next we have to find the right limit so we have so here is the right so we're gonna do the same thing and then we will list down numbers that are greater than negative 1 because we are looking at the right limit. So I will start off with negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.8, negative 0 0.99. And then negative 0 0.99999. So these are values from the right of negative 1. And again, we will evaluate. So for negative 0 0.5, I will get negative 3.75. Again, how did I get that? Take this, plug that in here, square, and then subtract 4 you'll get negative 3.75 so again as x approaches negative 1 from the right okay because these are numbers greater than 1 your f of x approaches negative 3 again and what can we say well we can say that the limit of x squared minus 4 as x approaches 
negative 1 from the right equals negative 3. So since the left hand limit and the right hand limit they are equal we say that the limit okay of x squared minus 4 as x approaches negative 1 is equal to negative 3 let's have another example find the limit of the absolute value of 2x as x approaches 0 all right same thing find the left hand limit and choose values so since we are looking at x approaches 0 so we'll try to uh, find values to the left of 0 so that would be uh, negative we'll start with uh, negative 0 0.5 this is less than 0 and then negative 0 0.3 negative 0 0.001 so we're kind of approaching 0 from the uh, from the left so and then I have uh, negative 0 0.0000001 okay then again plug in these values to x here that will give us so for the first one this will give us one absolute value of one I mean absolute value of negative one is one as x approaches zero from the left our f of x approaches zero so what can we say we say that the limit of absolute value of 2x as x approaches zero from the left equals zero okay we'll take note of that We'll move on to the right limit this time we're going to take values that are greater than zero so uh, that would be 0 0.5 0 0.3 again we are approaching zero from the right 0 0.001 and then we have 0 0.0000001 now, because this is an absolute value, we'll have the same results, okay? So, what can we say? So, as x approaches 0 from the right, again, the f of x values approach 0. So, therefore, the limit of absolute value of 2x as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to 0 and so since both limits are equal we say that the limit of absolute value of 2x as x approaches 0 equals 0 okay let's have another example so same steps so left I'm just gonna write f of x here okay, f of x is um, is this one right here okay since we are approaching 3 so we need values less than 3 okay because we're looking to the left of 3 okay and as usual we will evaluate uh, the function at x equals 2.5 so we're gonna plug that in here and if you do that you will get 0 0.5 here you'll get 0 0.8 you'll get 0 0.99 and 0 0.9999999 
as X approaches 3 from the left, okay, your F of X approaches 1. Therefore, the limit of F of X, I'm just going to write F of X, as X approaches 3 from the left equals 1. So again, we will take note of this result. We're gonna move on to the right limit. Now we're looking at numbers that are greater than three because we're looking at the values to the right of three. Okay, um, you, again, you can choose any numbers that you want as long as they approach three from the right. Okay, we'll choose 3.8. Okay. So values greater than 3 and then we'll start approaching. Okay. Again, plug these values in here for x and then solve. So for f of x, I have uh, 1.8 here. Then you have 1.3, 1.001. And here you have 1.000001. So as x approaches 3 from the right, f of x approaches 1. It's right there. So therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right equals 1 and since both limits are equal we say that the limit of that function is 1